about science. I like that it helps me to understand uh, the world I'm living, to understand myself. And I think it's the only possibility of mankind to have some light amongst the darkness. I love imagining very small features and find a defect on the material, for instance, or a face in an alloy and determine the composition of many compounds. I am a very curious person and uh, I'm, I've always liked nature. My biggest dream was to discover, for instance, the solution against all the illnesses in the world and even go to the moon or be an astronaut or a great scientist. I think it's a privilege to be part of the nanotechnology revolution because it's a revolution and it's ongoing. One of the main things that I like of nanotechnology is that it brings people together. During my, my diploma and PhD time I had no, not a single training event, so this has really changed and it's a very good development. Uh, talks are amazing, they give you very precise impressions of what is to work in academia, in industry or being a scientist who was working many years in academia and industry and then now is a coach and trainer to orientate all the scientists for their future and I think it's a very very good opportunity for young scientists like me to be in contact with the real world that is waiting for us after our PhD. What is really important is to talk to people. You know, if you do great things but the world doesn't know about it, it doesn't help. So you must learn to talk to people, you must learn to present your work, and then you must establish a network. So how do you build that network? You need to repeat. Yes, that means if you go to some event and you have been to the same event last year and the same event the year before last, then you can start building this network. You know, you must know the people to talk to when you have a a problem and this this event today is is good in all all aspects you know it, it tells you what other people do it tells you uh, how to to shape a career there are talks which give advice and there are lots of contacts uh, where you can uh, find a job it really just boils down to what you're interested in and what you want to do you have to figure out what triggers you and then just follow that path and don't get distracted but by what your peers might want to do going into the industry early already, like during the study, if possible, as a working student and then as an intern, because that's the way how you can already learn how the company is working and connect and network already and you have your first step in. To spice up a career, you have to see where there is a chance and be brave enough to take chances. Because opportunities come by and the lucky guy recognizes them. The unlucky doesn't recognize or recognizes them and doesn't take the opportunity. Well, self-confidence, know what you want and then really go for it. Um, even so, it takes sometimes a little bit more time, but don't take a second option. It's very important to be brave and not to be afraid of failing. Because for sure, science, uh, you will make mistakes, but there will be always a reward. And you have to always to follow your ideas and what you want to do. If you have a good idea, you have to follow it. If you think it will help people somehow, there will be a good application for the future, then follow your idea, follow your dream.